Today we are going to discuss about the speed control of three phase induction motor by using PWM inverter. Okay. So what is speed by inverter? It's the first important one. So inverter means it is a device which converts the DC power into AC power a desired output voltage and frequency. Normally the frequency is 50 hertz. Okay. So the before the doing the experiment, I is a components we are using the experiment. First one is called a auto transformer. The second is called a three phase IGBT trainer kit. This is a inverter PWM controller, three phase induction motor, tachometer, then multimeter to measure the output voltage and for tachometer for measuring the speed. So what are the types of inverter? One is called a voltage source inverter, one is called current source inverter. Similarly, for a, we have to control the speed control of induction motor. So this is the induction motor. So induction motor is nothing but the principle is rotating magnetic field. So what is the principle means? When a three-phase supply is given to the standard binding, the current will flow to the binding. This current is nothing but it's called stator current. Okay, from this current it produces the rotating magnetic field in between the stator and rotor. The interaction of and rotor develops the torque at a simple speed, n is equal to 120 f by number of poles. Okay, the n is nothing but it's a simple speed, the f is nothing but a frequency, and p is nothing but a number of poles. Next very important one is called how to induce the EMF. As a result of uh, already magnetic field, the EMF is induced in the rotor circuit. Therefore, the difference between the synchronous speed and rotor speed is nothing but slip speed. Therefore, we have to back on slip also, very important one. Slip is nothing but Ns minus Nr by Ns. So, Ns is nothing but synchronous speed, Nr is nothing but rotor speed to the synchronous speed. In terms of what the percentage is into 100. Another important one is how to vary the speed because the experiment is speed control of three phase induction motor by using the PWM inverter. So we know the formula is the important one because the formula is the V0 that is equal to modulus index into Vs. What is modulus index? Okay, modulus nothing but you have the three phase means it consists of six switches high GPT. Normally we have control speed we are using for uh, voltage high. So high GPT is all so the 6 IGBT is present in the module. By varying the gate pulse, okay, by varying the gate pulse, the output voltage can be vary, the modulus in is also vary, the speed also controlled. Okay, so before uh, uh, start the instrument, we have to do the connection. So it's a patch cord, it's a patch cord. So in the auto transfer, it's the auto transformer. So it has positive and negative. So positive is connected to positive and negative is connected to negative. Okay. So this auto transform is a AC voltage. This is a diode. Nothing but rectifier. It convert the AC voltage, it's a 230 voltage, convert to DC voltage and given to the 6 inverter. So 1, 3, 5. So 1, 3, 5 in odd number is upper 10. The lower end consists of 2, 4 and 6. Okay. Next we have to connect the this 3 touch top. One for red, yellow and blue. So you give the connection to the red to red. Yellow to yellow and blue to blue. So next it is called pulse modulation controller. Normally the controller is PWM controller means there are various type, what is called a single pulse PWM, multiple pulse pulse modulation, and sinusoid pulse modulation, and it's called modified sinusoid pulse modulation. The last one is called space vector modulation technique. But in this kit, we are programming the microcontroller by using the MP lab integrated development environment. We write the code in the microcontroller. And thus we interface this uh, generator signal 
to connect the body with this kit. Okay, next we will try to measure the bone also. This is starting method for the measure of speed, and you have to measure the uh, multimeter. We use to measure the output voltage. So next we give the current connection is over. Just switch on the supply. Another important one. Modulus index, I will put modulus index. It's a formula that is called a reference voltage to the carrier voltage. So I already told this the reference is sine flowing signal. Okay, the carrier is called triangular waveform. By cutting the sine flowing waveform and triangular waveform, generate the pulses. This generated pulses will interface to the spot of a module. Okay. So switch on the supply. Switch on the supply here. And switch on the MCB in the module. And switch on the supply here. So this auto transformer is connected to the smart power module. Now we check the voltage in multimeter. Okay, switch on the power here. And check the voltage. And check the voltage here. The voltage is zero because I am not varying the auto transformer. We just slowly vary the auto transformer. Slowly vary the auto transformer to two thirty voltage. Up to 230 voltage. Just very up to okay. So up to very the rate of voltage. Okay, this is the first uh, point. Next point, this is on the this controller because the generated pulses we have to interface with this small power module. This is the second. Okay, we just this is on the supply here and this is giving the pulses to the. Now we will see the motor. The motor is slowly running here. You see the just uh, running here. In the this display it shows the actual speed, modulus index, and set frequency. So what is it called? A duty cycle also is important part. The duty cycle means it defined as the ratio of on time to the total time. This is a duty cycle. You see the motor is running here. It generates the pulses and given to the induction motor. You see the speed now. The speed is become. You see the speed now 251. That is lowest speed. Now next you have to increase this incremental key. You set the frequency is 20 hertz. 20 hertz and modulus this is nothing but 0 0.38. Now the speed become 580 rpm. Okay. Next, you have to check the output voltage also. You check the output voltage also in AC. You just check the connection there. Now the voltage becomes 34. Okay, you just check the output voltage in the uh, module as well as the speed in the induction motor. 
Now slowly increase the frequency. You see the, the motor speed also changes here. For 30 minutes. For 30 minutes, the motor speed also changes here. And checking is speed. Now check the speed is 850. And the voltage also measured. The circuit voltage also measured here is 48, around 48. Next, increase the voltage. Increase the voltage here. Now the speed, you see the speed, the sound is also rises here. You check that target Now the speed is 1256. At that time, what's the output voltage? Because we need a transmission. Okay, we need a transmission output voltage also, also very important. You see the voltage here. The voltage is around uh, 62 voltage. Okay, now slowly increases up to 50 minutes. You see the modulus is also 0.95. At the time, the motor also speed is rises. Now the speed becomes around 1600 is okay. Okay, so we base it up uh, here, there is the frequency. The motor speed also increases at that time we measure the speed of uh, speed and voltage also very important one and speed also important one. okay this is the speed this is the experiment of speed control of three phase induction motor by using this PWM controller okay the varying the frequency level the speed also varying because we know the formula Induction motor uh, formula is n is equal to 120 m by number of volts. By varying the frequency, the motor speed also can be varied. Okay, so decreasing the frequency, slowly we have to decrease the frequency and of the controller, and we also have to reduce the voltage. So, reduce the voltage here and switch off the power supply. Okay, so this is the main experiment of speed cut of induction motor by using the PWM inverter. Okay, the main controller is using this sinusoidal pulse modulation control technique we are using this uh, controller. Okay, application, where we use this experiment, practically in real time application, where we use. Okay, the first one, it is used for UPS for your computer and internal power supply is so the first one the second one is called induction heating is called induction heating the last one is a adjustable speed drives also used for this experiment the main uh, objective is to, to control the speed of the induction motor okay thank you